Rockbeard presents The Strangest Ways People Have Died. Number 10. Mark and his buddies decided to try the sport of parkour at home in Maidenhead, finding a suitable death-defying jump over a 40-foot gap because why start small? They each got a running start and all made it from one parking garage to the other. But then, bolstered by a brew or two, Mark tried to go back across. He made it, but balance is key. He lost his and plunged to his death below. Number 9. Another rule around water. Water and electricity do not mix. So discovered Rodney when in 1999 his jet ski battery ran low. He motored over to the shore where he tied it to go fetch some jumper cables, plugging the cables into the 100 volt outlet. He ran back to his craft, but he forgot to stop at the edge of the water. Instant electrocution. Number 8. Check your equipment. Always. Every time. For example, for a water stunt, check to see if all the jury rig stuff you plan to use to survive is waterproof. Yeah, back more than 20 years ago, Robert forgot this rule. He planned to jet ski off Niagara Falls. But wait, he had a plan. He had a rocket booster to fire and a parachute to float down through the air. But when soaked by water, the rocket didn't fire, and the parachute was a wet mess. So was he. Number 7. There's always one. The one guy who looks at a hurricane and says, Check out those waves, dude. Or however a Spaniard would say, dude. The 40-year-old Spaniard headed into the waves instead of inland. But wait, inland is where he ended up, eventually more than a kilometer away from the water's edge after the storm, battered from being banged into buildings by the winds and water along the way. Number 6. More water trouble, also in 1999, this time cliff diving. Not somewhere that people normally dive. Oh no, where is the challenge in that? Instead, try a cliff where no one else dives. Start a trend. A 27-year-old in Wales tried to do just that when he tried to impress some teenagers by taking a header off an 80-foot cliff into the water below. Shrinkle Haven, surely a beautiful spot, but not for cliff diving. Number 5. Paragliding. It's not the gliding so much, but the landing that'll get you. But wait, if you land in water, surely that is nice and safe. Well, yes. But there is one problem. The equipment that keeps you aloft, all of that parachute fabric, it doesn't float. As Craig learned too late, it will also drag you under. His experimental safe water landing unfortunately ended fatally for him when he tried it in 1999. Number 4. There are lots of idiotic things to do with a snowmobile. One example involves gunning it up a hill as far as you can go, and right before the point where you get stuck, turn around and go back down. Walder liked this game. There were hints, though, that maybe that day in 2000 wasn't a good day for this stunt. First hint, state troopers issued an avalanche warning. Second hint, trigger an avalanche yourself and become stuck to your waist. Hmm, should I stop? Nope. Sure enough, the second avalanche did the trick, and he was killed. Number 3. DIY is king, even in the sport of bungee jumping. Just make sure to check your numbers. Eric Barcia forgot this most important point in 1997 when he tied bungee cords together in an attempt to bungee off a bridge. He was careful. He measured everything. One thing he forgot, though, was that bungees stretch. Police in Reston, Virginia, found his body. Number 2. Wait, I'll save you. Okay, maybe not. In 2001, a group was bound for home when their brakes in the van failed. No one realized but Marco, the driver, what to do. Instead of saying something, Marco bailed of the van just before it headed off the edge of a cliff. 
The others realized something was wrong at that point and were able to stop the van without any injuries. Marco, though, he hit his head after jumping and killed himself. Number 1. Protective Equipment Don't Remove It While partying with friends in Italy in 2008, this group got the bright idea to slide down a slope at Sous de Zoo. But nothing to slide on. Hmm, what to do? Hey, there's a huge mat connected to a metal barrier. But what the heck? All they had to do was steal it. And that's just what they did. Sliding down the hill was a blast until they hit the metal barrier. Winner of the Darwin Award, the deceased David Monk, 46 years old. Don't forget to like us and subscribe for more Rock Beard.